Well, after the verdict, some of the first demonstrators converged on City Hall, not in anger, but in celebration. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely has the City Hall reaction from both protesters and politicians. Derek. Erica and Rob, out there on the street today, there was something of a reverential tone among many of the protesters. This was a very emotional moment. Many of them almost in disbelief of a verdict they didn't totally expect. And Mayor Emanuel, who made a plea for peaceful demonstrations for the most part, got just that. As demonstrators from all across town descended on City Hall, a black mother of two sons and a grandson said the Van Dyke verdict means everything to her. It means that I feel a little bit safer for them when they're going to be pulled over by the police, that the CPD will use a little bit more caution, a little bit more compassion when stopping my black sons, our black sons of Chicago. And others saw the verdict as a landmark moment for police accountability. Now that we have something so groundbreaking, we want to build from that momentum. We want to make sure this is not just a happenstance and it just doesn't stop here, but this continues to be the standard for CPD and cops all around America. In the statement, Mayor Rahm Emanuel and Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson said, the effort to drive lasting reform and rebuild bonds of trust between residents and police must carry on with vigor. And to that end, other politicians saw the verdict as a boost. We've seen accountability and reform move very gradually. This should push it a tad, this should, this should move the needle a tad bit forward. Meantime, other activists are pointing to the verdict and renewing the call for a strong community-based police oversight board. The version advocated by Mayor Emanuel, they say, makes community members mere advisors with no power to cement real change. Reporting live from the newsroom, Derek Blakely. CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. Thank you, Derek.